Hi friends, welcome to DevOps Ansible AML Scripting Course video series presented by Narendra from Do With Python Technologies. In this video, we are going to see how to work with command line variables in your Ansible playbook or in your AML scripting. See here, command line variables are nothing but uh, while running your playbook, right? You have to pass. You can pass some commands to your script to your Ansible playbook. So with that, how you can work in your Ansible playbook? Playbook. Let me go with that. So here we have to discuss about two concepts. One thing is how to pass variables from command line to your playbook. Then second thing, whatever the command uh, variables from command line you send to your playbook, those variables, how you can access that variables inside a playbook. So these are the two concepts you have to know about command line variables. First thing is very simple, how to pass variables from command line to a playbook. Just while running your script, Ansible playbook, this is your command, right? Then your script name, then with option hyphen E, you can pass some variables. And here you can take any variable values, uh, I mean names some x, some y, and value you have to send it. So this is the way how to pass variables from command line to your playbook. Then whatever the variables you are passing here, right? These variables, how you can access inside of your playbook? How you can access? So anyway, that is also very straightforward how you are working with your uh, normal variables inside your script. The procedure is same. Okay. Let me go and show that on my terminal. Okay, give me a second. I am going to create some simple script. First, I will create some simple script. Suppose, just assume there is some script, guys. Suppose, oh, command. I am going to create empty file first. Line variables dot yaml. So, if that is the your YAML script. Suppose if you want to send some variable values in into your playbook, so without defining that variables inside of your playbook, generally in order to define some variables inside playbook, we are using var selection or var prompt selection or var file, right? So without that concept, I can define variables on command line and I can send my variables to our playbook. Then how you can send them? So suppose if you want to pass your variables to I mean your command line variables to your uh, script then you have to follow first of all this syntax ansible playbook then your script name then with option hyphen e you can take any variables like x1 x2 y1 y2 anything but i am taking variable one suppose hi then variable you have to provide some space then variable two suppose by i am taking so in this case in, in this way you have to send your variables to your playbook and if you enter on hit, if you hit on enter, so as of now you don't have any place inside your uh, because this is a empty playbook, right? So you are getting that playbook must be a list of plays. As of now we don't have any play, at least we don't have a single play in our playbook. Let me go on and write some plays inside that. So we have to start with three hyphens. Then first play I'm going to write. So this is a play. That's it. Then you have to define at least host first. I am going to take as local host my host then task so I am going to display that variables whatever the variables you are uh, reading from command line and whatever the variables you are sending to your script from command line that variable value I am going to print now in order to print variable values you have to use a debug module right debug arguments sorry that argument is message argument if you want to print so the value of variable one equals to here I want to print variable one value. So you know how to take variable values. So this is a syntax two curly braces inside that you have to provide your variable and variable two value equals to var two. That's it. Let me go and run this script. Suppose if I run that script without providing this command line variables you will get some error that error is elsewhere file depending exact syntax problem 
let me clear my screen and I will check that more. Yeah, we have to provide some space here, but we didn't provide that. So let me modify that. That's it. Now I'm going to run that. See, without providing command line arguments, I am running. Then you will get some errors. What is that error? Is see, undefined variable. Because inside of our code, we don't have any variable section. But you are trying to print two variables. So in case if there is no variable section inside of your script, then you should send at least from command line. But while running our uh, playbook we are not sending here that means in case if you, there is no variable section inside of your script then if you want to send then you have you can send like this hyphen e with the two variables now observe that output where one where two undefined variables I have taken VAR. Sorry, this VAR. Yes, we have taken. Let me change this. See, in script we have used we use for variable one, where's one, but where two? It's okay. Now let me on command line I can change that variable name, right? Whatever we use in script, that I can send it. That's it. See the value of variable one, high variable two, by Right, this is message, right? But inside script, you have taken your variable as var one, var two. So that's why I'm sending from command line variable name same as is that. That's it. So this is the way how to uh, read command line variables inside your script and how to send a variables to your script. So first thing is how to send variables from command line to your playbook, and whatever the command line variables you send from command inside of script how do you read how you can access them that is the second part okay okay guys thank you for watching this video do subscribe my channel so that you will get notifications when i will post some new videos okay bye